Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I'm doing an update for you of my chopping block makeup. So I'll link to the intro below. Basically, I just picked a bunch of stuff out of my collection that I'm like on the fence about whether I want to declutter it or not. And I've been using it for like the last month. And now I have a clear understanding and decision on whether I want to keep this stuff or not. First, I'm going to talk about something I'm definitely decluttering. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream. Such a long name. Um, this is basically like a liquid highlighter with skincare benefits. And um, it can also be used as a targeted highlighter. It can be used as a kind of a glowy primer underneath foundation. That's originally how I purchased it. I wanted to use it as a glowy primer, but that was probably three years ago now. It was probably in my first-ish year of this channel. So it was a while ago. So number one, this is getting decluttered because it's old. Now it still works. It doesn't smell bad or anything. I've also discovered over time since three years ago that my skin is just way too oily for something like this as a primer like this is hydrating this is this would be great if you have dry skin and you wanted to use it as a glowy primer underneath um, but it doesn't work for me like that and I could use it as a targeted liquid highlighter but that's just not my favorite method of highlighting I'll just show you like how it looks on the skin here so it's pretty glowy but it's not like I don't know it's not like uh, a shine like it's not like this <laughs> so as you can tell like my hand looks glowy but for me because I use so many powder products to keep me mattified this kind of thing doesn't work on top usually so anyways lots of reasons why I don't want this anymore I will be decluttering this I'll probably be tossing it honestly because it's so old I don't really want to pass it on to anybody let's move on to something that I'm gonna keep maybe I'll just alternate because I think it's pretty equal actually um, okay so this is from a store called Miniso. If you're not familiar, Miniso, I'm pretty sure it's, I wanna say Japanese, but it could be like Korean. I'm not 100% sure, but they do have North American stores. I actually purchased this in like my old, old house in Ontario, like in the mall near there. Um, and there's no Miniso's near me. And it's kind of a shame because I really like this. This is the Pink Panther, um, what's it called? Double-ended liquid eyeliner with tattoo stamp. Okay, so first of all, Pink Panther is kind of, I guess, their mascot, which is kind of random because Pink Panther is very 80s and like not really part of today's culture, really. So it's kind of funny that that's their mascot. Um, I remember Pink Panther like as a child growing up, but this is a really good product. So it has the tattoo stamp on one side, which is fun, but I would never, ever, ever use it. So it actually has, let's focus on that, little footprints super super cute but obviously I would never use this on my face but maybe something like really fun if you have a daughter or something who is like into makeup with you and you could have like mommy daughter time and you know put some little footprints on her face or something um, I don't have any daughters so I never got to have fun with little girls anyways um, this liquid part here is really actually quite nice it's very black has a lot of how long have I had this now I've had this for like seven months now it is still going strong. Like I was gonna say it has a lot of liquidity, but I don't even think that's a word. So it's still going very strong. This is the one I'm wearing today. The only thing I would say about this, well, two things. One is that it's shiny, not matte. And we all know, like usually liquid eyeliners like this tend to be shiny and not matte. Um, but not only that, like on my eyelids today, this really, really shiny eyeshadow, it didn't really go over it very black. Like it was, almost letting the eyeshadow come through and it was looking like kind of holographic black or like translucent black. It wasn't great over that. Um, it's really much better over either lighter shimmers or definitely matte eyeshadow, it's much better. So I did go over it slightly in that area with a different eyeliner, but I do like it in general. It goes on really smooth. I like the brush tip. It's really, it's really easy to work with. So going to keep that one. Here's another one, actually two, but they're the same formula that I'm gonna get rid of. These are both from e.l.f. These are the um, Tinted Lip Oils, right? That's what this one is, Tinted Lip Oil. This one doesn't say it. I don't know if it's the same thing. It says it here, but it doesn't say it on here. And on this one, all it says is Coral Kiss. It doesn't say any formula, but I'm pretty sure this is also a Tinted Lip Oil. This one says Nude Kiss, so those are the shades. Um, I actually got these both half off because I, uh, I used to get 50% off anything at Old Navy and that's where we sold them. Um, so at least I didn't waste too much money. They have the little ballerina slipper applicator, which I do like. 
Um, main problem with this is that you have to go in so many times to get product out. So I just wiped on my hand basically all the product that was on this and see how much you can get. Like that's one pass and now you're gonna have to go back in again and get another pass. Basically, I have to go into this product probably five or six times to get my entire lips covered. It's just annoying. It's not like the worst problem in the world to have, but it's just annoying enough that it's just on the list of reasons for me not to like this. Um, another thing is I just don't really like the way it applies. Like see this color here, I love this color. It's so pretty, but it goes on so sheer and if you were to build it up like this, yeah, you get that color, but that's not really how gloss works. Like you can't usually get a thick layer of gloss on your lips. It's, it's just whatever it is usually. So if it's not pigmented enough, then there's no building up gloss. I mean, you could, but then you get that gross thing where like it's sticking to the top and the bottom and it's like milk lips and it's just disgusting. So I just don't like how these actually apply in terms of the color and I, I think the formula is okay, it's slightly sticky, but I also don't like the application mechanism, so these are going by. So I had two concealers in here, and one of them I'm gonna keep, and one of them I'm gonna get rid of. Um, I have both of these. I have NARS and Wet n Wild. This is the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Creme Brulee. This is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Light Medium Beige. Okay, first of all, this one. This is the one I'm wearing today. I actually had to mix it with Tarte Shape Tape. Um, number one, I this is not the right shade for me. It's way too dark. Like, it's... It actually doesn't look that dark on my hand, but when I applied it, when I put it on today, I was like, that looks really dark, and I'm tanned. So, in the winter, or spring, no go. Um, I also just don't like it. Like, it's really dry in here. I feel like my lines are super pronounced, and I've only had on this makeup for like four hours now, maybe three hours, so it's not even been a long time super dry looking and definitely my my circles like can you see them today they're front and center um so it really isn't full coverage enough so definitely lots of reasons not to like this and i'm going to be decluttering that one um this one i'm going to keep it's not my absolute favorite concealer in the world but it's pretty decent so i've actually had this for a long time since they launched this i feel like this should probably go in a project pan or something you can see i've used quite a bit but there's still quite a bit left it's pretty full coverage I'm just, I'm not normally like a pot concealer person because I don't use it on anywhere on my face except for my under eyes. I just don't have enough blemishes to really need like a facial concealer. And even when I do sometimes, I just don't bother. Um, so under the eyes, I feel like this is slightly heavy, but not enough for me to notice like, like it doesn't look bad basically. Like it still looks decent, it still looks good, and it's still very full coverage. So I do like this. Not my favorite concealer in the world, but I definitely like it enough to keep it and not declutter it. This, yeah, this is really equal. Really, really equal. I should have done this other highlighter at the beginning, but I'll leave it to last. Right now I'll do these two blushes. So I have two Rimmel blushes. This one is the Rimmel Maxi Blush Powder Blush, and this is in the shade 001 Third Base. Um, they should have made like 003 Third Base. Is that like a dad joke or it's just not even a joke it's like not even that funny anyways um here here it is right here it's just such a light color i don't know I, this color does nothing for me it's so light and kind of baby powdery pink there's no like nice sheen to it it's just matte i don't know it's just not my cup of tea um it does like in the pan I don't know, you'll probably not be able to tell but in the pan it looks like it has shimmer I don't know, it definitely looks like it has shimmer, but there's no shimmer that translates onto there. So it's just not my favorite and it's not very long lasting. This one I'm gonna keep. This is the Lasting Finish Soft Color Blush in 150 Live Pink. I like this a lot. This is the one I'm wearing today. Um, I actually have some California from Benefit mixed in with it because I forgot to wear this. So I just put this on top, but it's, it's, it's mostly this. Um, I like this blush a lot. I like the color. I feel like this color is very much the same as that one except that this you actually have the shimmer if i build it up more you actually have the glowiness and the shimmer that you can actually see like it's much nicer built up you can just see it more like on my cheeks it's pretty glowy it's just really pretty the one downside to this one is it doesn't last throughout a whole day so i would probably declutter this 
like I thought about decluttering this because I just have so much blush. I have so much blush that I love. This is not like on the top of my loves list. And I thought, okay, well, why don't I just get rid of it? But here's the thing. I don't have anybody to pass this on to. I don't know a lot of people that love to wear blush. And I don't know. It's just like a drugstore blush. It's not like somebody's going to like go crazy because I gave them something high end. You know, it's just that kind of thing. So I just thought to myself, why don't you just keep it? You use it a couple times a year. It's better than just throwing it away and it ending up in a landfill. So I am going to keep this. I like it enough to keep it. Not my favorite in the world, but it is pretty. Very last thing. This is the Maybelline Master Holographic by Face Studio Prismatic Highlighter. Um, this is the one that is, well, holographic. It also has a ton of chunky glitter in it. I've talked about this a lot over the years. If you can see on my finger how chunky that is, like it's super chunky. That's really the only word for it. Um, if I were to just swatch it, here's what it looks like. It is holographic, it's got a pink shift to it, obviously still very chunky, like how many times can I say the word chunky here? But here's what happens, if you buff it, buff it, buff it, buff it, like I'm, I have a lot of pressure right now, this is what happens. You get this gorgeous, gorgeous sheen, like it's so pretty, it's like wet looking, so nice. Um, and again, kind of similar to the Rimmel Blush, I don't use this enough where it's like living in my drawers and I'm picking it up all the time, but I like it enough to keep it for those couple times a year that I might use it. Now today I'm wearing it, but it wasn't giving me enough oomph, so I put Oh Forever Rodeo Drive on top of it. So most of the shine is from that, but there is a little bit of kind of holographic pink layered underneath. So I think I like using it in that way. That's it for this chopping block. Um, this is definitely a series that I'm gonna continue once I have enough things where I'm like on the fence about. It might not be like a monthly thing, but every once in a while you'll see this pop up on my channel. I really enjoy doing it. This is not an idea that I created. There are lots of these videos out there. I know like Samantha March does it. I know uh, Makeup by Mariella does it. Um, there's tons. So if you like this kind of idea, I would just encourage you to go seek it out, find new creators on YouTube. That's it for today. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I really like hanging out with you guys. Um, and I hope you're having a great day. And I hope that you're speaking kindly to yourself, especially when you look in the mirror. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.